Hi, hello, it's me. I realized that it has been 18 months since I posted a video on this channel and that last video was also me baking in a thing that did not turn out the way that it really should have because I didn't have all the things that the recipe called for. I also realized that was in another kitchen without a person. Well, there was a person in that video. Lots of things have changed in the last 18 months. I no longer live in that apartment. I'm no longer in a relationship with that person and I don't have the dog I had anymore. Unfortunately, Merlin passed away in December. Uh, if you hear a baby crying vaguely in the background, also, I didn't have a baby. She had a baby. <laughs> it's her baby. This is Charity, my friend, and her husband Daniel is around here somewhere. Hey Daniel, what's the weather like out there? It's hot. Alex, you are being unreasonable. <laughs> that did not help with crying baby. Okay, so Daniel gets a producer credit. Boom! I'm going to start baking book-related goodies. Whether those are snacks that have been popular around the world and are mentioned in books, or they are snacks that are specifically designed within a book, or if they're just book-inspired snacks. I don't really know how this is gonna work out yet. This is the first time I've done this in 18 months, and I'm not the best at it right now. Baby is crying. We have decided that the best way to resolve crying baby is to involve the baby in the baking. So for today, we are going to make a treacle tart from Harry Potter, which is not technically from Harry Potter. That's the first place I ever heard of it, but it is a traditional British dessert. I've never made one, I've never had one. We're gonna see what happens. I found this recipe by looking up book-related recipes on Pinterest. This particular recipe comes from a website called Feast of Starlight. It seemed pretty simple and pretty easy, given that I'm not a professional baker and it's just kind of something I like to do in my spare time. A lot of this is stuff I haven't done before, so we're gonna see how it goes and then I'm gonna feed it to the lady who's got a baby and just see what happens. Hope that we don't poison anybody. While Charity takes care of her baby, I'm going to do step one of baking, which is make sure that you don't get hair in the thing you're baking. This is the pinnacle of fashion. Okay, so while Charity is in mom mode and dealing with her baby, I'm gonna go over what you need for this recipe, the, the ingredients and the tools, and then like kind of your prep. So your prep time is 30 minutes, your cook time is 30 minutes, and they listed something called your passive time as 10 minutes. I don't know what that means. And ultimately this pie should be eight servings, which makes sense for both of us. And I guess it's not technically a pie, it's a tart, but it's kind of a pie. I wrote that passive time should be spent being passive and passive. Isn't that just kind of all of my time? But I did make an effort to be on theme for this video with my wardrobe. I did not. Okay, so you need nine ounces, which is two cups of all-purpose flour. You need four and a half ounces or one stick of unsalted butter. You need three tablespoons of cold water, which is for your crust. And then for your filling, you need 14 ounces of golden syrup, which I could not find anywhere for the life of me. So I Googled it and it said that I could use an alternative of light corn syrup, which I have. Five and a half ounces of breadcrumbs, two lemon zests and juice, and then a whole egg whisked. So to make your crust, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put your flour and your butter into the same bowl and you're gonna mix it all together. I'm just gonna use my hands, which I've just washed. Thank you, Gracie. We are in a pandemic. Grace, try not to beat the child with your tail, please. Work the butter and the flour together until it resembles sand. I'm not very patient. Charity, what Hogwarts has for you? And why is it Hufflepuff? I am not Hufflepuff. You are a Hufflepuff. I'm a little bit of a Hufflepuff. You are a Hufflepuff. I, I feel yeah. like this needs more than one stick of And that might just be the Texan in me. I told you it was gonna need but more. But I don't know. Okay, grab the recipe right there. It, it's, one stick of butter plus one tablespoon, so I need a little bit more butter. Aha! That's about one tablespoon, but I might make an edit that says I'm zoomed in so that you can't see Cherry's butt. <laughs> We're starting to get sandy in this bowl. That's kind of impressive. Huh! Please. When you actually follow the recipe's measurements and you don't just wing it, you get sand. You get the correct outcome. Okay, so now I've got my sand, which I showed you. 
my buttery, floury sand, and I've added the three tablespoons of water. And now you mix it until it forms a dough ball. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna continue with the theme of this video and just see what happens. Good enough. That's not really a ball though, is it? Well, it's not a ball because I'm not a person. <laughs> now we put our not really a ball of dough into the fridge for 30 minutes. Do you do that instead of spraying the paint? Or is that what it tells you to do in the rest? Pan with so now I guess we just wait for 30 minutes. Also, the best thing you can do when borrowing your friend's kitchen is also employ their dog to lick up all of the things you spilled on the floor. Who needs a vacuum cleaner when you have a lab that eats everything? Well, you're making my... I'm looking for food. <laughs> it's time. Oh, oh dear. Hey Alexa, shut up. syrup in it and you heat it till it's warm into the pan. Heat until warm. What does that mean? Until you touch it and it's warm. <laughs> it's not warm yet. <laughs> then it keep heating it. I'm sure that much syrup it may take a few minutes. I'm sure it will too but you notice that I asked Alexa how much time was left every 30 seconds. Okay it's warm. Stir in breadcrumbs and then lemon juice. This is gonna be an interesting that is very, very active. Thank you for your love and support. This is just an interesting texture we've got. I'm gonna say I feel more confident about this part. Than this than, part. Than this. I mean, that's an accurate feeling okay. right now. <laughs> Pastry is not my strong point. I can do cookies all day long, but pie crusts, I really thought about just buying a frozen one when I was at Walmart. I've never made one before, so I'm handing okay. this to you. It You've definitely well. resembles 
it resembles what it's supposed to be, but... Pour the mixture into the pan and spread evenly. I mean, it looks like I would expect it to at this point, given I know what it's supposed to look like when it's over. We're gonna see how it goes. So I just put the treacle tart in the oven. You saw me mix the, the filling and then put it in the pie crust. And then after that, I did this beautiful lattice work that goes on top of it and it com comes out beautifully and it's just the most gorgeous pie topper you're ever gonna see in your life. But it turns out when we moved the camera from the stove back to over here, it stopped filming. So here's a dramatic reenactment, totally exactly what happened um, of me putting the lattice on top of the pie. I don't know how to make lattice. Are you done yet? No, oh my god, it's, it's, been, it's literally, I bet you it has literally been three and a half to four minutes. Alexa, how much time is left? Guess what? Impatient. It has cooled off. We're going to cut into it and give it a taste. That is the crumbliest pie crust. So it's all starting to not work anymore. Come together fairly decently. I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. Oh dear. Oh, wow. mm -hmm. Pretty good. I'm actually really proud of the pie crust. Actually, it's not too thick. Yeah, and it's nice and flaky. It's flaky. And it's not soggy on the bottom. She's putting cinnamon on it. That would make it better, I'm sure. Yes. But it doesn't really have much of a flavor, which yeah. seems to be the problem. Uh, I mean, it's not well, super bland, but it's like the long, the more of the filling you get, the more of the taste you get. Well, the, the filling is just corn syrup and lemon juice and bread crumbs. So yeah, it's not gonna have a lot of flavor. So I the guess. Lemon juice is a little bit What? I don't know. I don't taste the lemon juice at all. It's good in mine. The recipe doesn't have an explicit flavor in it, so I'm wondering if adding something like that, like cinnamon or flavor, like vanilla or chocolate or something like that. But well, honestly, really, it's really good. It's also probably supposed to be sugar. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, a cinnamon ice cream with this mm. would be super good. It's I, edible. Yeah. For now. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, willing ex willing victims. We haven't died yet. Yeah. I haven't had enough time to change yet.